Hello and welcome back to another video for patch 6.45 with Mimi Only. Today we're looking at Blue Mage and the first thing with Blue Mage with the addition of all of the new spells and stuff is the new increased level cap up to level 80. So that's probably the first thing that you want to do. So starting this new series of videos, we're going to look at everything Blue Mage. So first of all, what is the quickest way to get to 80? That's going to differ depending on what playstyle you have, what people you have around you, if you're a solo player or if you have friends or a girlfriend or whatever. Um, basically, we're employing the two-man strategy today. Myself and my girlfriend today are going to be leveling. We've picked up and done the basic level 70 quest. So that's where that 54,000 EXP has come from, by the way, just so you know we're not cheating here. So we're starting 54,000 EXP. I'm completing the first quest at the Blue Mage Guild, and we're in the the Tempest, the last zone inside the Shadowbringers expansion. And the reason is that the mobs are level 78, 79. That is our focus, and we don't really want to go any further above. Then a lot of people are making videos doing labyrinthos, which I think is fairly comparable. But I say let them go and do that. It's a lot more stable, a lot safer to do it here, and especially with the two man setup as well so first thing is you want the person who's leveling their blue mage to be outside of a party you do not want to be in a party you want them to use something like sardines a uh, flying sardine to or any instant cast to tag the mob it will be purple for the person boosting and then go on whatever job you want to that does damage uh, you're probably going to have a better time with dps but by the end of this i ended up switching to my sage just simply because it had better gear because that's what i mostly raid with and um, the raid gear helped out quite a bit but a level 90 that you're you know comfortable with you can't go wrong with so just get the person who's leveling to tag mobs and then you stab them and as you can see we sailed through this quite quickly all in all it took us around uh, just under an hour i would say an hour sort of as a safe cushion uh, to actually get all the way to level 80 from level 70 with that 54,000 exp into the level from that first quest that we picked up from Martin in Uldar, so we, you know, I'm being as clear as possible about that. And the way we did this is we went around the Ondo Cups, essentially. As you can see where my mouse pointer is going, just in a big circle. And the reason we did this is because the mobs are level 79. There's a fairly decent pack of them. Uh, they're fairly spread out, though, no matter what zone you go to. But it's not too bad here. You'll see quite a few other people probably level here and probably quite a few more after we release this video, probably. But, you know, there's a good chance that this is still going to be one of the better places. And as you can see, this was the last mob and there was level 80 on Fran, as you can see, in game time. It got to 2.59, and we started uh, much earlier than that, just about an hour previous. So that was a pretty good experience. Um, honestly, it's it blisteringly fast compared to the last time I tried to do this with a boost technique. Um, there's a lot of other people that have tried other things, including exploits, but this... It's just how, you know, one of the intentional methods, of course, doing like other things and doing things yourself and, you know, fates and things like that probably will be more beneficial currency wise. But this is the way we decided to do it. And I, then I went on my blue mage. So as you can see on my character, we're at 54,000 EXP just to show you that. Let's start actually killing things. It's 3.01 p.m. when I started recording. So let's see what time locally it is by the time we are level 80. So uh, yeah, I've decided to speed this up because I thought it would look quite funny. And yeah, it certainly does um, at light speed. I wish it was that quick. But all in all, since we started at 3.01 p.m. local time BST, and then we ended at 3.42 p.m. So that brings us to the grand total of 41 minutes with a DPS tagging, a uh, DPS killing tanks that you do in a circle around Ondo Cups, which I don't think is that bad. Um, I think it was actually a lot worse for the previous uh, cap when I did that. I, I took a lot longer. I think I took well over nearly two hours, in, in fact. But yeah, 40, you know, let's let's round it up to an hour just to be safe. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, I don't really care where you go. 
um but uh, you're probably looking at the same sort of time but uh, at least you've got the safety of the ondo cups and these mobs only being 79 rather than what they would probably be in labyrinthos but yeah let's move on and see what exactly we can do now we're level 80. So one of the first things you can do when you hit level 80 is go over to the uh, uh, Wayward Gahilja, which is the NPC next to Paidani uh, in actual, near the Miner's Guild, where the Blue Mage quests are, and you'll be able to get a spell uh, now. So you can get Breath of Magic from this totem. So this will be like the first spell that you can touch. I would definitely advise getting to 80 before you go on your spell hunt, because it's just going to make things easier, and a lot of the spells are going to be a love above level 70 anyway, so you might as well just get to level 80. So there we go. Our first spell learnt, which is of course through that totem, and there are a few others as well. As you can see, lots and lots of spells to collect, but there we go. Awesome stuff. And now we have uh, that one. But you'll notice there's also a red quest. Now, to do the level uh, 73 quest, you actually need to go and get a spell. The spell in question then is Goblin Punch. This is actually acquired from Amarang over here on the coast, as you can see, just below the furthest uh, to the right uh, etherite. And it's from these hobgoblins. That one, unfortunately, didn't give us that one. It's quite easy to see Goblin Punch. Uh, you should be just dodging this stuff at level 80. Uh, as you can see, let's see, when is he going to cast it? Yes. Excellent. And we've got ourselves Goblin Punch. So yeah, always make sure that the mob casts the ability that you, that you want to learn uh, and give it a couple of seconds before you clear them and then you can add these to your thing. So the level 73 qu uh, quest required spell, Goblin Punch, is added to our list. With the level 73 quest done, the level 75 quest will actually require you to get Shiltron. You can get this from long-tailed armadillos. These are obtainable and found rather in southern um, parts of Colusia. As you can see, we're right down the bottom here on these long-tailed armadillos and uh, Shiltron is being cast. They cast it under 30% health, so just sort of wait a little bit and then once it's cast that and the, the, the shield is ticking down because it's a a shield like a damage um reduction that it places on itself kill the armadillo and uh yeah that was like seven or eight armadillos it took me to learn that one but uh, that's what's required and it's a really cool spell actually definitely check that one out um, and that's how you can carry on with your quest line okay for the level 78 quest line um, basically what you're going to need to do is learn a spell called rehydration you can get this from slippery armadillos now not to be confused in this area with the non-slippery relatives the desert armadillo these slippery armadillos are located to the north as you can see here of good old Amarang uh, near Quail Snarl, just over from Maud Souk. If you teleport over there and then go over here, you will find Slippery Armadillos. So as you can saw, see, one just died. We'll see if we can get it from this one. Um, yeah, they're not really any difficulty. Uh, like I say, it is still a best, best sort of piece of advice is to get to 80 before. It's a rehydration cast bar, as you can see there. It is interruptible, but do not interrupt that. Uh, let that go off and uh, it's a damage buff essentially and then kill the armadillo and hopefully like me you'll get it first time if not they do spawn quite regularly but there isn't that many of them in this area so you're going to be competing with whatever other blue mages are around but that will wrap up your quest portion of spell requirements and with that quest done as you can see the next quest is basically for free you don't have to get another spell for the level 81 but if you do the level 80 quest which is just a bit of a run around you get a full set of 530 item level armor for your left side this is what it looks like pretty dapper it's fully diable full left side excluding weapon the next quest is for the weapon in particular but it involves doing the masked carnival a new thing which we'll probably do a video on if it's difficult at some point if people want a guide on that leave a comment below but yes as you can see 530 so we don't get accessories with that chest 
uh, that we opened. However, if we go over to the Allied Seal vendor right here and go under the accessory section, tick show only recently added items. As soon as we hit level 80 and finish the level 80 quest, the phantasmal right side accessories will be unlocked. Now that means you can get earrings, necklace, bracelet, and a single ring. They are unique for 400 Allied Seals per piece so you can get the majority of your accessories that way if you're wondering where you can get allied seals quickly apart from hunt marks you can actually do the blue mage log if you go into your blue magic spell book and click the little bookmark at the top you can open the log and you'll see some things are located with stars this indicates that they are the weekly or daily targets they give bonus and of course first time completion um, which is notified by the red ticks means i've already completed it once before and if they're not red ticked then you can get the bonus for the first time so definitely um worthwhile doing this with a group of blue mages if you can find a group it's probably easier to find three other blue mages than it is to get a full group but of course if you do have a full group you can go and do the extremes such as the naval this week jade stower or the minstrels ballad hades elegy hades on extreme as blue mages gives you 400 that essentially gives you an accessory for completion better uh better better you than me i think i think i might just flop around like a dead fish um but yeah like i said that's the left side and that's some of the right side if you want another right side ring because the rings are unique you can of course go over to your more and buy one from there which is also 530 and additionally if you want to get the weapon slot and why wouldn't you you need to do the a golden opportunity which is one of the blue mage mask carnival events like i say we'll do a separate video on that if people want that but only if people want that I don't think it'll be too difficult, but uh, again, it is a two-act fight by the looks of it. If we go all the way down to the bottom here, number 32, and uh, it actually gives 200 seals as well. So maybe we'll just do a quick video on that uh, to get that done and get our weapon. But there we go. That's pretty much my look at Blue Mage today. We're going to be looking at Blue, Ma uh, Blue Magic spells and where to find them next, including some of the footage we've already used in this video, as well as all of the other footage to get... Um, all of the other spells in the game. Much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully this video was helpful, insightful, or in some way um, got you to go and play Blue Mage. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.